You just have that sense of something is missing. You don't know why, but something is gone. Something is missing. There's this emptiness. One of the greatest interviews that I've ever witnessed of an NFL football player was Tom Brady. It was after he'd won his third Super Bowl. It was in this 60-minute interview. They, they were talking about he'd won MVPs, the time he'd just recently been married to a supermodel. Extremely wealthy. They said, Tom, what's next for you, man? What's, what's, you know, you've got all this. You seem to have everything. And in a lot of cases he did, but he said there's something more. Or there's something missing. There is this emptiness there. An emptiness that can only be filled by belief. A faith in something bigger than you. Greater than you. Ultimately better than you. You're not just a physical being. And when we live our lives with just a physical reality, it leaves a void in our lives. And we need to believe again. And the last system that unbelief produces is enslavement. This one's the most serious because you have an enemy that is trying to get you to doubt God and stop believing in anything. And his ultimate goal is to enslave you to a new reality. One that doesn't believe in anything. And so how do we overcome this? How do we combat this? So we're not enslaved. We're not empty. John 5 and 4 says this. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. It's my hope for you today. My hope is that you would believe again, not in Santa, but in God. That you'd have faith and trust in Him. He's bigger than anything you're facing. And everything that you're going through. You know why Buddy the Elf believed in Santa? It's because he had met him. He knew him. And because of that, you couldn't keep Buddy from believing in him. You know why I believe in God? Because I have a personal relationship with him. I've experienced God in so many ways. I shouldn't be standing on this stage today. I shouldn't have children of my own today. You've experienced God. Some of you are so addicted to things. that You shouldn't be strung out. You shouldn't even be here today. But something stepped in. A faith or belief in something bigger than your situation pulled you out of that. Some of you are sitting here today and you're, you're married still. God... Put that back together. You forgave somebody. God allowed you to do that, to look beyond their problems, to be able to see hope in them. I'm encouraging you today to believe again. Believe in what God can do in you. Believe in what God can do around you. Believe again, because if we can get stuck in all these questions of why and, and the reality of this world, it just fills us with emptiness. We become enslaved to it. I'm going to trust in the word of God. I'm going to have faith, belief. Because I've seen it work too many times not to. Buddy believed in Santa because he knew him. Today, I hope you get to know God. I hope you find him today in the simple story of this movie or the scriptures we share today we're in this season of Christmas God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son while we were still sinners Christ died for every one of us gave his life redeemed us today the greatest gift was his life Jesus didn't just die for you, he dies to pass you. Bow your heads with me this morning. This morning, I'm going to give you an opportunity. 
give you an opportunity to say yes to Jesus. Maybe your life, you've said yes to a lot of things, but you've never said yes to Jesus. Maybe you've never committed your life to Christ or dedicated your life to him, or maybe you're in this room and it's been a long time since you said yes to Jesus. This is simple act of commitment. Say, Jesus, I believe in you, and I'm going to follow you. I'm going to serve you. With every head bowed, every eye still closed, in just a second, I'm going to count to three. And when I get to three, just simply raise your hand if you'd like to say yes to Jesus today. If this is your first time or it's been a long time and you want to give your life to him, when I count to three, just slip your hand in the air real quick and drop it right back down. One. When I get to three, raise it up. Two. Three. Come on, put your hand up. I see your hand. I see it. I see it. I see your hand. Wow. Wow. In just a minute, I want to do something else. And we're going to pray together. But if you're in this room, maybe over the past several weeks or days, maybe you just made decisions that you shouldn't have. Stepped into ways that you should never step in. And you're ready to just say, I'm sorry, God. And I'm saying yes to you today. If that's you, if you're ready to rededicate your life, just throw your hand up right now. Come on, I'm not even counting. Just throw your hand up. There it is. Wow. Hands up all over. Wow. There's a song that says, All I need is Jesus. All you need today is him. To ask God to forgive you of your sins, to repent of your sins, is not just to turn away from sin. That is what it is. But it's all about turning to Jesus. We get that wrong. We say repentance is I'm going to turn away from sin. No, it's more about who you're turning to than what you're turning from. Because we can turn to a lot of ways, but if we're not turning to him, then we're never going to be where we need to be. So this morning, it's about turning to him. In every area of our life, turn to him. All over this room, pray out loud. Pray this prayer with me. Repeat it after me. Heavenly Father, I realize today that I'm a sinner and I need a Savior. Today, I believe in you, Jesus. I confess with my mouth and I believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. And God raised him from the dead. Today, I will walk in his ways. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Come on, clap your hands. Stand with me this morning. Justin and Danielle and the band are coming back to sing one more song. Here's what we want to do today. If God did something in your life, something happened, in the simple telling of the story, the sharing of this movie, the sharing of the word of God, I just want you to take the next two minutes as they sing. I want you just to worship him. Forgetting those things which are behind, I want you to press toward things that are in, ahead of you. I'm getting beyond the emptiness. I'm getting beyond this enslavement. I'm going to have faith and trust in him. So all over this room as they sing, I want you just to lift your hands.